Hey guys, it's Chelsea Messenger from Picks and Parlays. Hockey is finally back. Uh, it's up north in Canada, uh, but we've got some games to bet on. Hey you, yeah you, we've got a nice little deal for you. We've got a promo code for 25% off the entire site. Anything you want on picksandparlays.net. The promo code is MBA, really easy to remember. That's NBA for 25% off. Got Scott Rickenbach joining us to talk a little hockey. Golden Knights and the St. Louis Blues. This one is basically a pick em depending on where you get it. The total is five and a half. Uh, what do you think on this one? Well, we saw quite a game the other night involving Vegas. Uh, they played Dallas and they were down three to one midway through the third period and rallied for a five to three win. Now, how unlikely was that in the franchise history for the Golden Knights, which again, they've only been around for a few seasons, but still they had never rallied from two goals down uh, in the third period. A third period deficit of two goals was basically a death sentence for Vegas. And the reason I bring that up is because I feel we've got some value with this total at a five and a half. Again, you look at that game and say, oh, there were eight goals scored. You know, there's going to be another high scoring game here, but not at all because Vegas, uh, you know, teams, this is the round robin. Uh, these teams are playing not playoff series just yet, but round robin games. And some of the teams came in ready to play these. And some of them didn't. And Vegas wasn't ready. That led to three quick goals from Dallas pretty early in that game. And they came in a, in a big, uh, in a bunch of three goals right together. After that, Vegas got right into their playoff mode. They were a different team. They didn't give up another goal the rest of the game. And I look for them to have a strong game defensively here, but they're facing a defensive-minded St. Louis team. Of course, the Blues, the Stanley Cup champions from uh, last season. And they're off a very tight two-to-one loss to Colorado. Uh, you guys that have been watching uh, these videos know that I'm very high on Colorado. They look like the best team in the NHL right now, and they are so potent and high-powered on offense. So for the Blues to hold them to just two goals in that game, and the game-winning goal actually came with only a tenth of a second on the clock, it says a lot about how well St. Louis is already playing in their own zone, and they're known for that. They like to play uh, tight, defensive-minded hockey games. And that's what I'm looking for here with Vegas because they don't want to let Vegas break out. And keep in mind, the Golden Knights have been without Pacioretty, their leading scorer from the regular season. Uh, he got hurt during summer camp. He hasn't even gotten to the bubble yet. Now, if he somehow miraculously appears and plays in this game, he's not going to be 100%, but I actually expect him to still be out. That does hurt the Vegas offense. And again, I know you guys are looking at that game saying, yeah, well, how hurt can it be after they scored all those goals? But I would look at that as an aberration. Again, they had one goal through the first 50 minutes of hockey and then exploded in that 10 minutes in the third period, but it stays under the total of five and a half. All right, that's going to wrap it up for Golden Knights and Blues. You're watching Picks and Parlays. Thank you, Scott, for joining us. Hey, guys, if you like our content, we'd really appreciate it if you give us a like, share our stuff, and if you want a notification every time we post a new video, hit the bell for all of your sports betting needs.